think, um, yeah, the next thing we wanted to discuss is this month's book. We finished the book. Yeah. Uh, Untamed. So I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I give it one star, guys. Uh, so it's uh, yes. Untamed by Glenn and Doyle. I give it one star. I would it's give just... it like one and a half or two, but like, yeah, I, I'm one not star. gonna disagree with you. Um, one star. Yeah, like Nag, oh, Nag had found this book, and when she brought it to my attention, I started seeing it everywhere. So it I was thought everywhere. Like, this is really popular. Like everyone's loving it. Everyone's yeah. reading it. She seemed like yeah. a very credible type of author. She's written all these books. Yeah. She's been on Oprah. Like it mm-hmm. sounded like it was gonna be like a phenomenal read, and I was yes. excited to read it because I thought like this, like this has to be good, right? And plus, honestly, she was a like, Christian girl. Like she was yes. Christian. Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. it was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I was gonna like that. And relatable to me. Exactly. For those yeah. reasons. Exactly. So when I read it, I, you know, I started it out with kind of like high hopes, I guess. And I quickly, mm-hmm. very quickly got disappointed. And I don't know, it's, even like reviewing my notes on the book and stuff, like I kept my finger on exactly like what it was that I just really didn't like, but I had the hardest time reading this book. And I'm already like a slow reader. I don't really make time for reading. Same. Same. Yep. Honestly, same. (laughs) Okay, don't don't buy the book. Honestly, if you want to read it, just like, honestly, okay, here's the thing. Um, So this book, I'm going to give a little bit of a a, synopsis. Okay, this book is about a woman who was married and had kids and she was a she's a writer. So she is pretty famous. People really like her. She writes memoirs about her life. Um, She's BFFs with uh, Elizabeth Gilbert, which is the woman who wrote uh, Eat, Pray, Love. So you can Mm. imagine the level of talent. And actually, she's a very good writer. I cannot I cannot contest that. She's a good writer. She makes you feel things. And honestly, for the first part of the book, I was like, yeah, you go girl. You know, like I was like, I was in for it. (laughs) Um, So she's basically talking about the fact that she was in this marriage and the, her husband cheated on her. So that marriage was clearly had its own issues, but she stayed in, in the marriage for her kids until she fell in love with a woman. And this woman is Christian. She's, you know, she comes from a very kind of like, I, would, I wouldn't say conservative, but kind of conservative. Like a religious was, view type of background. Religious view yeah. type of background. And so she yeah. basically, you know, she uh, divorces her husband and starts living her life with um, her now, I think, wife. And wife, the, yes. the whole thing is, a, is about how, you know, she navigates topics like uh, motherhood and, you know, uh, what society thinks of you and labels yeah. and like, girls are supposed to be you know sweet and like vulnerable and not like you know have that overpower energy and boys are supposed to be manly and blah 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 blah. and she she approaches a series of like topics that to me had no place to be there and (laughs) it's just like it was just it was all over the place yeah it was all over the place it didn't make any sense like the timelines didn't connect sometimes she would come to an event and then she would talk about it later and it's like whoa whoa whoa. weren't we talking about when you divorced and now we're talking about when you're married like what the hell like it's just yeah 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 all over the place and so okay and what you said like in the beginning you were like yes like this you know good good for you kind of yeah And I kind of like, I mean, I guess I have a little bit of like different view. So I wasn't like gung ho on it, but I thought that it was smart how she was very much leading it back to the whole point of the book, Untamed and being Mm -hmm. in the stage and like, you know, getting out of that bubble. And there was many chapters and different things that she covered that always related back to that point so I thought like this is a very focused book that was good and by the yeah. time I got like halfway through like you said she starts talking about divorce and then marriage and then this and that and her kids playing soccer and then her son this and I don't know there's all these different things going on that I felt like it didn't always lead back to her main point and it was like why are you talking about this but I don't know I mean I know it's okay interesting but Okay, yeah, and also I feel like this is what, you know, to me, this is what the book was going to be about. It was going to be about how she liberated herself. And there's something, there's a concept that I really, really liked that was very, um, that really clicked on me. That was really, that we're really taught from a very early age to behave a certain way, to believe certain things and to stop dreaming and to stop have a fire about us. And I really like that part because it's very true. Mm 
if I go back to my around when I was 10 years old, it's when I was told you need to be careful with what you eat. You need to be careful with how you look. You need to, you know, you need to be like this and like that and like that. And there is a clear, a clear indoctrination, a clear, this is the way you're supposed to be from a very early age. So I was like, oh, this is going to be a book about to help people to really understand that and get beyond that to really and get, beyond it, get yeah. to their authentic potential and to be their authentic yeah. selves. But yeah. it wasn't that to me, it no. was a book about how her set lifestyle is the best lifestyle of them all. And anything else and is just like, don't like confident people. People don't oh like happy, confident people. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. And you know what? Yeah. She sounded very judgmental to me. She sounded mm. very, very, very judgmental to me. Like she sounded like, you know, she was talking shit about how Christian people would look at her differently now because she's a lesbian with like, stuff like yeah. that. And it's yeah. like, yeah, but bitch, you were one of those people before. And you mm. still are, except that now you believe that you, you, you just believe that the, the life that you live now is the, the good life, you know, and, and still you think that motherhood should be a certain way because she says, yeah. taking your kid's phone is the best thing that you can do because that way they get to be untamed. And, and it's just like the way I oh, do right, it yeah, with her son. Yeah. 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 It just felt uh. very pushed <laughs> to me. I just, I was just not into it at all. I was yeah. just like, oh my God. I yeah. can agree with you. I don't know. Like I said, I had a hard time getting through it. I feel like the parts that resonated with me the most was there was that one quote that she kept saying over and over. The one that she's, I think she was like out of school and she saw it on a poster in a hallway and it's like, we can do hard things. <laughs> she kept repeating that throughout the book. I don't know if you That's like true. recall that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I feel like, I don't know, lately I've been really struggling and it's like to even do one small thing feels like such a like hard. heavy weight and really hard to do. And I'm like, I'm starting to like tell myself that in my head, like how we she does, do like we can things. do hard things, like we can do this. Um, it's so funny. Um, I thought it was cute, the little story she shared with her daughter and how her wife, you know, like really encouraged um, her to like let her daughter try out for like soccer tryouts or whatever. I like her wife. Like I, I like her yeah, wife. Yeah, because she's so, yeah like I thought that that was a really good um attitude and it was just it was so yeah it was a really cute story because like obviously the girl ends up getting on the soccer team and then soccer is like a huge part of her life and like it was like yeah um, the author was so afraid that like this could be the thing that breaks her but everyone's like but this could be the thing that makes her and everyone like supporting her and encouraging her really helped her go and like I guess yeah her dream of playing soccer so I thought that was such a cute story I thought that that was um yeah that was really nice uh and yeah, I don't know. I guess like <laughs> things weren't good. I feel I feel um, like there was more vulnerability seen in her daughters and in her partner and in her even her mm. ex-husband than in herself. She's so against like, but I can relate to that. Like how she's like, oh my gosh, no, 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 don't say that to her. Don't like she's gonna get hurt. She's gonna do this. She's gonna, like that would be me. Like the over overprotective. overprotective. Yeah. yeah, and I can relate to that. So that's that's so nice that she has someone like her wife in her life that can to really push her and open and yeah and push her to you know um be more open yeah. to things like that um here's the thing also, though so yeah yeah go yeah no no, no you go um, you go you go I, I, still uh, <laughs> I thought the bravery thing was really cool that she touched on so like she talks about this one time where her two daughters went to go get their ears pierced and her youngest daughter is like very like let's do it. yeah you know whatever and then her old like her older daughter's like yeah like, yeah, scared, yeah. Like, like that would be me right but she said like it's not like you know you can you know like buckle up and just do it anyways or you can like be brave and, and tell people how you feel like I don't like I'm scared and I don't want to do this right now and like she's yeah. talking about like the different forms of like bravery and how um her older daughter who's scared to get her ears pierced and didn't end up doing it might have looked to some people like oh she's not brave she's not you know like she's not very tough um but she said no like that like that is still bravery for her to be able to speak up and say how she was feeling and um yeah, I thought yeah. That, that was really sweet. Just like little moments like that that she talked about. Basically. Yeah, that being brave is all about like following your own voice and not like exactly, um, exactly. Being I, I agree to that. I agree to that. Like I, I agree to that. Uh, honestly, I'm just. I f it felt like every time that she would talk about this, every time that she would basically bring it up, bring it to her kids or bring it to her wife, 
it felt like the way she was translating it, like transcripting it, sounded mm. like a Pinterest board to me. Mm. Being brave is all about speaking your true voice. And I was like, ah! I was like, It's like a no. quote that people can write in their captions I just or something. I didn't like it. It just felt very, yeah. very, it just, she just felt like, um, you know, uh, she just felt like Cinderella is very godmother the whole thing mm. where she was just like being like you know the true brave thing to do is to speak what you have inside you it just doesn't feel very it doesn't feel genuine at all right like, there's right. a different thing to actually you know uh talk about the scene and what happened uh at Claire's like you know like mm -hmm. my daughter acted like this and then and be like and then when I think of, I thought about it I thought I realized that they were both brave that would have been different than her just right. coming out as a Pinterest board like a, a live I just didn't like it honestly I didn't like it I, I didn't like it that how through her writing you could feel how flawed she is in many things you can feel how she is very controlling how she's very my way or nothing how she's mm -hmm. very like um she would be that honestly i'm sorry i'm gonna say it. i think she's a karen like it's it's very annoying like she sounded so annoying to me and i'm sorry i don't yeah. understand how so many people can love it but she sounds that typical like privilege like woman who the only thing she's gone through is gone through a, like a transition of like and i'm not saying obviously i think that her transitioning is a huge like to you know i'm i'm into men and now i'm i'm into like women and her her owning up her truth I applaud her for that because this is not yeah. easy even more when you are from a like you know Christian background where you know yeah. that people are going to judge right yeah but it feels like it just felt like she was talking about her life as she's gone through so much like trouble and so much like like heartache and stuff and it's like you live the most basic white ass like life that you can ever think of and it's just like you know, you're, you're talking about uh, challenges and you're talking about stuff to people who actually have gone through so much trouble, like probably have gone through so much shit. And they look yeah. at you and they're like, I just can't relate to you. you yeah. You're owning up life. You're being this be big bestseller person, but I can't relate to you. Yeah. You know, I just can't. Yeah. It just felt like. It, and how she talked about very... how she's more. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like more relatable when she was like down on her life and like not doing very well and now that she's thriving people come to her and say i used to be able to relate to you and now i can't okay but that's true i feel i feel it in her writing i felt it very hard to relate to her like i felt it very, yes and not because of her achievements or because she is living a, a good life full of love and full of positive emotions i can't relate to her because she's gloating about it i can't like i just i right, just you right. know i don't know there was something I don't really know, yeah. like i still like i said i still can't really put my finger on like why i didn't like it but i didn't like it i know really at all like i it just had a very, hard time <laughs> it just I had a felt hard very time forced about it. Mm -hmm. yeah it's mm -hmm. salty i'm sorry yeah. i won't talk more about it it is salty it is definitely it salty I mean, very, you very... guys have read this book like please let us know what you think like are we just hating on it for like no reason i know um, i know because <laughs> like that's how i felt about it and i wasn't sure like honestly until i came on the podcast this morning with neg i didn't know how she felt about it either um but yeah no that was our take on it so <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the fact that me and you both hating when we're both so different. Because I thought, that just like, says I something. thought maybe I'm just the one being a downer. Like maybe no. I was the one that. No, no. Like I'm missing all no. these amazing points. No. Because <laughs> I was reading You're it because like, um, yeah, I was really trying to force myself to get through that. But anyways. I loved her life. Things. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs>